Rusev. Remember I said Rusev was bumped from the casket match with The Undertaker? It was going to be Chris Jericho against The Undertaker? Well, guess what? Somebody changed their mind. And so once again, Rusev is back in the casket match. Chris Jericho's talked about this. He doesn't care. He doesn't mind. He said there's nothing, there's no big story or backstage politics or backstage heat or anything like that. There's no real fun, exciting, interesting story behind it. Vince McMahon changed his mind. Simple as that. (laughs) They texted him. Hey, you're going to be in the casket match now? He said, fine. And later on, he got another text saying, hey, you're out of the casket match. And he said, fine. Uh, so Jericho, I guess, will be in the uh, the Rumble match. And uh, Jericho is just, he's a total team player. He'll he will do whatever they want him to do. Uh, in fact, he did an interview uh, on his tour bus uh, with Chris Van Vliet, uh, who's done a, a, some really, actually, uh, awesome interviews recently with a lot of big names. He did a great one with uh, Johnny Gargano right after the takeover match he had with uh, Tommaso Ciampa, but uh, he he did an interview on Jericho's tour bus, and they were talking about a whole bunch of different things, and, and this was one of the things they had discussed, and he mentioned in that interview that he got the text messages saying one thing, and then they got another text saying another, and he said, look, you know, to me, it doesn't matter. Uh, you know, I'm on board. Whatever they need me to do, I'll do. Uh, he also mentioned in that interview, by the way, not to go off course too much here, but he was asked by by uh, Van Vliet, you know, look, are you doing any matches in the near future with New Japan? Because uh, Jericho, after he lost to Kenny Omega, he was on the next show and he attacked Naito. And everybody thought, well, they're building to a Jericho-Naito match. And Jericho said, well, we, we were. We tried and they just couldn't make it happen. And he, he made it sound like it wasn't just an issue of scheduling. He went on to talk a lot about how, you know, in the position I'm in... Uh, I need to be compensated accordingly, and I'm putting my neck on the line here because it, if WWE could turn around at one, if, you know, at some point and say, "Look, you know, you're going to keep working for New Japan, the hell with you. We're not going to use you anymore." And he could burn a bridge with Vince McMahon because you never know, right? Vince could turn on a dime. So for him to go back and do more matches in New Japan, he said financially, because he made them. He claimed he made them millions with that first match with Omega. He said that they have to make it worth his while. So all this talk about money made me think that they either lowballed him on an offer or they made him an offer that he wasn't entirely happy with. And so there will be no match with Naito. There are, there are no more Jericho New Japan matches scheduled for the foreseeable future. Doesn't mean it won't happen at some point. Um, but, you know, any talk about, well, maybe in June or July, they're just waiting until the Fozzy schedule opens up. There is nothing scheduled with Jericho and New Japan going forward. Um, 